بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Hello everyone Today we are going to start with our first lesson in writing and it is entitled as punctuation marks and we are going to talk about basic punctuation marks which are full stop which is sometimes called period in American English comma and capitalization and capitalization now the student by the end of this lesson uh, is going to be able to first will be able to identify the three basic punctuation marks two student will be able to punctuate correctly that is to provide punctuation marks in a correct way so let's start talking about these three punctuation marks in uh, some detail first first we're going to talk about full stop and this is full stop in American English they call it period and it is a punctuation mark that is used to indicate the end of the sentence for example Ali is a teacher now this sentence has finished so we have to indicate the end of this sentence by adding a full stop so full stop is used to indicate the end of the sentence number two is comma comma is used to make a list to make a list for example if we mention more than two things then we need to separate them by using a comma for example look at this sentence Ahmed bought bread milk eggs and bread milk eggs and juice notice that since we have more than we have a list here more than two things after the first one we have a comma after the second thing we have a comma and before the last thing we can have a comma but this comma is optional you can do with it or without it and at the end of the sentence we have a full stop to indicate that this is the end of the sentence okay the last thing about punctuation marks is capitalization capitalization is to start the new sentence in English with a capital letter let's say take some examples Salim is an engineer notice that we started with a capital letter another example I am a teacher now here we have a note we capitalize I is capitalized all the time even if it comes at the end of the sentence okay 
Now, we also capitalize proper nouns. We capitalize proper nouns, which is names of countries, names of countries, people, etc. So we say, I met Nader from Pakistan and Khalid from Bahrain. Look here, please. I is capitalized. It is capitalized wherever it comes, and it comes here at the beginning of the sentence. Nader is an example of proper noun because it's a name of a people of a person. Pakistan is also a name of country, so it is capitalized. Khalid again is a proper noun because it's a name of person, and Bahrain is a name of a country. And at the end, we have a full stop. That's all about punct the, the three basic punctuation marks, capitalization, comma, and full stops. Hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Thank you very much for careful follow-up, and see you next lesson. Thank you very much.